Hello friends, uh, welcome to this new series uh, in which I will show you how to create a real-time database using MySQL, Node.js and Angular and as well as Socket.io. So this is the final version of the uh, app and this will be a pretty small series. Okay, So this is my Angular app and I'm fetching this list of products from my mysql database as you can see here okay so i have sorted the list in descending order starting with id 54 that's the last id that, that's the last product in the list okay and as you can see on the right hand side this is the table now if i make any change here let me just put uh, put this on the left hand side Okay. So if I change any property here, let's say if I change the title from PlayStation 4 to Sony PS4 and as soon as I hit enter, you'll see the change is reflecting here on the right hand side. See without the ref refreshing of my page. It, it's happening in real time. Can change any property here so maybe price right now i'm only uh, fetching the id title price and quantity these four properties but you can fetch any of these fields as you may please okay so let's increase the price from 499 to 499 see it's changed in real time let's put it back to maybe 199 or 299 and if I create a new product here, so you see the last entry is 54. Okay, if I copy this product, this will be PlayStation 4, price will be 249.99, quantity is maybe 50, and hit go. So you'll see a new entry popping up on the top maybe at the bottom so we have fifth the row now 56 here that this did not load okay because I'm not emitting I guess uh, in my server I'm not emitting that the insert yep I'm not emitting it so let's emit it here perfect okay you see it popped up automatically I did not even refresh the page so to prove this let me quickly go ahead and create another product maybe Xbox okay Xbox Xbox one old model okay everything let's put the price of 199 quantity of only 10 hit go Here, insert. So it should work. Save the changes. Okay. So something is wrong here. Affected rows zero. Update, update, update. It's fine. Okay. Let's see. Let's try again. Okay. Let's try the delete first. We delete this model. This entry. It okay. This gets removed. Okay, as you can see here. I can delete maybe this PS4 as well. See, 56 has been removed. If I create a new entry. Copy the 491 Xbox One X it should work. Uh, hit go. We have 58. Apparently, it's okay. It's showing it at the very bottom here. See, it's 
showing at the very bottom but it's it's getting created so if i so just to prove that point i will go here copy a ps4 uh, this one name is ps4 to port maybe 99 10 i 10 uh, pieces and hit go there we go it's, there, it's working it's just that the, the list did not refresh and it's putting any new entry at the very bottom and you can see i can make changes if i refresh this page it'll go on top and i can make any change in the properties here let's rename this to sony uk playstation so this will work as a real time database like firebase but not exactly but to some extent and you can use this functionality in your own projects to give real time feedback to the users or in case you want to create a chat application it will be really helpful okay so i will be showing you how how to create this entire uh, prod application and we'll begin the, into the codes from the upcoming video so stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe like and share my channel and hope you guys will like this series thank you and have a wonderful day